right, what is up crew? You guys ready? It is gonna be SI joint rehab prehab today. By the way, right there, workout partner. We crushed a workout, she's still going. I had to quit early to uh, do the video. I didn't wanna tell her, but it's because I'm too tired. She's just, she's just faster, stronger than me, it's just the way it goes. So here's the deal, we're gonna talk about the SI joint. The SI joint, the way it works is, you have the sacrum that sits in the middle, and then the innominate bones that sit on the side. It's this kind of a, like a biphasic joint. It has a fibrous portion and, and the synovial portion, right? So the problem with that is, is that it has a twist to it, but it doesn't fully separate. But it goes under what's called a forced closure. So when muscles contract, it jams the innominate bones together against that sacrum and forces it to become very, very stable. So it endures a lot of load, especially when squatting, I'm a sweaty mess and doing all the kinds of stuff that we need to do. So I'm gonna show you how to rehab that SI joint properly so you don't get SI joint pain. And if you have it, do this stuff, you'll get out. So number one is we're gonna do what's called, and this is all single leg stuff. We're gonna do a standing banded clamshell. So what you do is all you need is a band and a wall. That's it. See, this is a, a half or a quarter inch band. You're gonna put it around, double it. Make sure it's above the knees. You're gonna take one leg and put it up against the wall. So now I'm externally rotating this. So hands out so you don't cheat the movement. And you're just gonna externally rotate while supporting with this side. So it's forcing the sacrum to become bound up the way it's designed. If you do this while you're laying on the ground, you're, dis you're uh, dissociating one side so one side relaxes. This side, this way it forces both sides to work at the same time the way they're designed. So, you sweat everywhere. So what we do is, remember, load up the band, knee, knee, arms out, and then externally rotate. This will turn your hip into a fireball. You're gonna do three sets of 10, that's number one. Number two is you're gonna stay in the bed, you're gonna do a lateral lunge, but you're really gonna throw your hip into it. So you're gonna get down, I'll come this way so I stay in the frame. You're gonna get down, I'm gonna step out, and then I'm gonna push my hip out, and then I'm gonna come back. So I'm gonna step out, push my hip out, and then come back. So under the load of the band, so remember, you're trying to do this to the band, not this. Don't do that. This is not helping your hips or anything. It's not helping your side joint, it's just making you look like a fool. So step out, push, and then come back to neutral. Step out, push, and then come back to neutral. That's number two. Number three is a hip drop. Now this is where it gets a little different. So you can see I have a box down there. The box is important. It smells like a barbecue outside right now. It smells amazing. You're gonna stand on the box. If you have to brace against something, that's fine. You wanna take your hip and you're gonna drop the hip and then come all the way back up. So you can see I got a little bit of a balance issue. So we're gonna drop, come back up, drop, come back up. So I'm, all I'm doing is tilting the pelvis to force the muscles to work around that SI joint. Three sets of 10. Last one's a fun, actually we got two more. Two more, two more. Let's see if we can do this right. So we get in the band again. Now we're gonna do a modified kind of a pointer dog. So you can see I have the band. The band is around my knees. This is important. Band is around the knees. I'm loading the band and I'm gonna come out and then come back. So I'm doing a hip extension under a banded load so it's forcing external rotation of the hip, not just extension of the hip, right? So I'll do it this way so you can see. Band is here around the knees. I'm gonna come back and then down. Come back and then down with the band under load. That is number four. Number five, get on your back, band around the knees. Let's go like this. Wide, I'm gonna pick up my hips and then I'm gonna load against the band. Just do knee flares. So band is just above the knees. Three sets of 10, call it a day. That's it. It's like I'm taking my pants off with the band. Hey, listen, I'm Travis Smashworks, hanging out at CSA on a Thursday. I will check you guys out tomorrow. I love you all. Peace, guys.